The Bud Ranch is home to two of my favorite people, Jordan and Jordan, or as I like to call them, Jordan Squared. I'm glad to be back and happily settled in as third wheel. One thing that you can always count on when hunting the Bud Ranch during the late muzzleloader season is cold temperatures. With any luck, this year will be as successful as last year and definitely as cold. Your dream western hunt come true right here. Seen anything wild as you. Him and those deer came in 30 yards from me. It's so awesome when it comes together. There he is. Sweet summer rain. To be in this moment right now is like Fantastic. pretty unreal. Absolutely perfect. But we got it done. It's, oh my gosh. Yes, thank you, God. <laughs> Jordan. I don't know what else to do. Jeez. Do it again. Retake. I don't want to do it. <laughs> you can do it. Watch out now. I'm ready for a good try. And I came to go. The whole band and we came to move. Let's be honest. Jordan Squared and I tend to put a lot of pressure on ourselves during hunting season. So coming to the Bud Ranch is our opportunity to kick back share some laughs, and look at lots of deer. Preferably from the warmth of the truck. I don't think there's anything better than a hot wood stove on a cold day and hot tea. So we sat up here this morning like, looking out across all of this stuff and most of the deer came out of the corner off the fields and went down into the creek and they like to cross right here a lot and then they'll go up to the back and drop into this big Way negative three right now. <laughs> 23 mile an hour winds. Yeah, every time I come here, it's like the coldest week of the year, every time I'm here, <laughs> like literally. Happy birthday to you. They grabbed his propane and the gun. I'm serious. Don't judge me. I'm starting the 28 day challenge after the first of the year. One time a year, I get popcorn balls. It's when Jordan's mom makes them for me. Set up trying to eat. 
The sub-zero temperatures had the whitetail bucks settled firmly in the cornfield, so we switched our attention to finding a mule deer buck. And after a short hike towards the river bottom, we found our first herd of deer with a couple of bucks in it that had potential. Every year it's the same thing, Jordan. I know. The one common factor is you. No, you know what this is? Every year you guide talk me. Every oh year, God. oh yeah, Christy, it's guide the deer talk. crossed out of the neighbor's cornfield onto my property. And it doesn't happen. And now you have Jordan squared buying for you. <laughs> yeah. You'll never know. <laughs> Nope. This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Now I'm getting ganged up on. You three are going to end up on Dr. Phil. <laughs> See, like this deer right there. They're going to all filter. Go, he's gonna go jump the fence. The big broad time bug that you want dropped lower. He's not gonna come across with these does, probably drop lower. But those other ones are gonna come straight across down by that fence. We'll beat those does around. We'll get to the three cedar trees and then we'll post up there. And if they come where the other one's going, they should be within 200. <laughs> Wind is still good. They're still coming, but we've got to go about two more over. They're going to cut down and we're going to miss them if we're here. They're right there. They're right here. Like right here. They're going to. Back, I would shoot him. It's gonna be a hundred yards. You okay, guys ready? Yeah, go, go for it. <sighs> Watch him. Watch him. Oh yeah, you got him. He's bleeding. He's bleeding out the side. He's going up. You guys, you guys go get eyes on him. I'm gonna reload. He's still pumping blood really good. I know he, he's hit really good, but if we can get a follow-up shot, we might as well do it. She's almost done. The girl said he was bleeding good, but I want to get another shot into him if I can. That's cool. Did you know this buck had a cheater on him? I think I saw it in spotting scope. That's the same buck that's been in the field for a couple days. Yeah, it is. What a beautiful buck. This is my one of my bigger white tails. That uh, is cool. Yeah, for sure. Almost had a match. Almost yeah, had a match. Almost. 
He looks super good in the field. Like when I, he first popped his head up, I was like, oh. He's a dandy buck. Yeah. yeah, when he stepped out and you're like, um, that's a good buck. I'm like, 10, 9, 8, boom. <laughs> <laughs> I've never gotten one that breaks 10, let alone 11. Uh -huh. You don't have to cry, Jordan. It's okay. It's windy, I'm uh, sorry. Don't, I know you're emotional <laughs> about this. We had this first hunting moment together as a, as a trio. <laughs> Jordan's crying. <laughs> there is nothing better than hunting a place that makes you feel like you're part of the family. Taking a break from the norm to laugh at each other and joke. At the end of the week, we've yet again made some of our fondest memories. <laughs>